Hey guys, Zalonis here. Welcome to another video on the channel. We're going to be doing a little mini series where we look at the best value meta players at different budgets. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about players under 50,000 coins. If you guys like this, then we might do another video where it's like 50,000 to 200,000 then 200,000 to 500,000, etc, etc. You do have to bear in mind with these videos, boys, that there are lots of options. I'm literally doing one for each position, or if it's like a centre mid or a striker, two. So there's going to be plenty of players who miss out. Not You might not necessarily agree that the player that I've picked is the best value. There's obviously different opinions based on what player people like, the players have used, but I think everyone will agree every player that I've put in these videos will have been, at the very least, really good value and definitely good enough to fit into different teams. The first one we're doing though is under 50k today, and we're looking at Frimpong. He's about 10,000 coins right now. If you buy him when this video comes out, he probably is gonna go up a little bit in price because he is gonna be in the team of the week from what I've seen. So with him, you are getting insane pace, one of the fastest players in the game. Solid passing, amazing on the ball. Like for a fullback, 91 agility, 9 balance, 85 dribbling is insane. Okay defending, not great, but pretty solid physical. And Dutch links, like value of players, part of that does definitely come in to um, the links that they have. Bundesliga, not bad. Leverkusen, I don't know if there's anyone Leverkusen who's that great. Schick's not bad. Um, his Europa League, that's Champions League kind of thing he's got. But that's okay, but the Dutch link is really nice. He's good enough to play in a team like next to someone like Virgil van Dijk as a cheaper option in there. So Frimpong is our first player. I definitely like him. Araujo. I don't think you could really have a list like this without... And by the way, when I say under 50k, like there might be a 50k centre-back who's better than him. That doesn't mean, in my opinion, the better value. I just think this guy's like one and a half, two thousand coins. That's just dumb for how good he is. He is six foot four. Big body types on this game really do matter, especially on new gen. He's insane in the air with that jumping. He's really strong. Very solid all-round uh, defending. His short pass stats pretty nice. He's got good sprint speed. He's not too bad on the agility balance front, especially for someone who's six foot four. His links, being La Liga and Barcelona, are great. There's a few Uruguay options. Uh, this Araujo, honestly, is just absolutely nutty for the price. Um, I've used him on the road to glory to get 20 and 0. He can deal with all the top strikers. Yeah, okay, he's not Virgil van Dijk, but he's also 200 times cheaper. For the links he gives you, the stats he has, the body type, this card's just ridiculous. Klosterman's the next one. Honestly, there are a lot of centre-backs we could have had. A big honourable mention goes to Skrira. He arguably is better value than either of these because he's, a, he's another level in terms of he's just even better than these guys with his elite defending stats. But he is like five, six times more than some of these. Klosterman's tall. Really quick, he can get 99 sprint speed with a shadow. He's got very solid defending, 84 defensive awareness on an 80 counts great. He's not the best physical, but he's got really good links being Leipzig and German. Uh, and he has a bit of everything at centre back, which I really like. For our left back, we are going Spinozola. Uh, Spinozola's 2000 coins, good on the ball, very good defending for a full back with 82. Okay, physical, not the best physical. That is probably his biggest weakness. But he is rapid. He's good going forward. His passing solid. He's very good on the ball. Four star, four star. Six ones, nice as well. Pretty tall. I really rate this card. His links are okay. Being um, Italian's very nice. That's got some pretty good players this year. Spinazzola is a very good card. Ikone, right, right wing, right mid. There really wasn't a lot of value in my opinion, especially under 50k. You could have got Riyad Mahrez. He's got better links than Ikone, does have the skills and weak foot. But I wanted to go for a card that I've not talked about lots before. He's insane on the ball. His passing's good. He's one of the quickest players in the game. He's got okay shooting. He does have potential to go up to an 86 as well with upgrades, which is part of the value for me. The weak foot's not great, but he does have the outside of the foot shot trait if you want to put him at left mid or lab. Uh, French is a great nation. Serie A's good, so this Ikone is very, very good in my opinion. Casimiro ridiculously good in the top three to five cdms in the whole game and that includes heroes and icons he's got crazy physical that really does matter on this game the physical stats he's got really good defending which matters he feels good enough on the ball his passing's fine that he's not a complete liability 
He's got great links between Brazilian Premier League. Man, you have some good options in there. He's crazy. He could play in any team in the game. Like you could put him in like the best if you went for the all out best team in the game and put him in there. He he's not he shouldn't be in there. Obviously, you'd rather have the A8 Vieira if you pick it. But you could put Casemiro in there and he wouldn't feel stupidly out of place. And for him to be like thirty five thousand coins, he's basically going for the price that he will be all year for fodder. So you're not even going to be able to lose coins on this card. Absolutely ridiculous card for the price. Now, midfield, there's loads of options, and it really does depend on what you want. But I think on this game, especially new gen, Milinkovic Savage right now is ridiculous. Four star skills is nice. Five star weak foot's amazing. Six foot three, so he's a really big body. Decent links being Serie A. The pace isn't that relevant. He can finish pretty much any chance he gets with five star weak foot that's shooting. His passing's good. He'll feel okay on the ball with that ball control dribbling. Good, solid defending. Ridiculously good physical. This card honestly has a bit of everything and is just amazing for what you get. Kings the Coman, fast, great on the ball, can pass okay, not the worst shooting. Decent strength for a small guy with such good stats. And then the five-star skills. And French and Bayern Munich, Bundesliga, some of the best links in the game. Uh, he gets triple linked up on Mercado. He's like 15,000 coins right now on old gen. He's one of the best gold cards in the game. New gen, not quite as good, but still a very good card in general. For our strikers, again, there is lots of options you could go for here. And it is very, the attackers very much does depend on old gen versus new gen. I'm more looking at the new gen perspective. I think more viewers tend to be new gen. Plus, that's what I'm playing mostly. Latara Martinez, great links being Argentinian into Milan and Serie A. Decent enough pace. Great shooting, especially with that outside the foot shot trait. 88 finishing is really high at this point in the game. His passing's not great, but it's good enough that it's not a liability. Um, dribbling's very, very good uh, for a striker with the rest of his stats. Elite physical. He's four star, four star. Jumping's good enough that he will win the occasional header. But four star, four star with this all round combination of stats and great links. I think he's like 13,000 coins, which again is around his fodder price that he'll be all year. If. A card as good as this that you can't really lose value on. Absolutely amazing. And then the last one is Norwegian Smash Brother. Solo, Harland's partner in crime. Four-star weak foot. You wouldn't want to be marking these two, would you, Harland and Solo? Really strong. That strength's crazy. It does matter on this game. I really like players with high strength. He's quick. 95 sprint speed's crazy, especially on a lengthy player. His finishing's more than good enough. If you can get him started on full camp and put a finisher on him, he has 99 dribbling and 97 finish, and that's just absolutely outrageous. His passing's okay. He's got four-star weak foot, which is good. He has the outside of the foot shot trait. He honestly, on new gen, is a pretty perfect striker. Um, just absolutely crazy. Love this guy. Um, honestly, there's loads of players that I could have included in this video. 10 to 50k, not 10 to 50 0 to 50k. That's where you're going to get the most best value players in the game, of course, just because... It's the lower end. As we move up the list, there might not be as many good options, but there's lots of great players across the board. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Appreciate you watching it. Appreciate the support of the channel lately. Lately? Lately. As always, keep it spicy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.